Alright, a couple of take notes from my front hard lock snap down position. So first we want to get his head in position. So normally he would have his head up straight and we're fighting here. So a good way to uh, get his head to move down is to uh, work with fakes and feints. So basically we have three ways to attack uh, from standing position. We can either try and attack one of his arms, we can attack one of his head, uh, his head or we can attack uh, his legs. So, uh, for example, a good way from when somebody's in straight posture to attack is to grab a leg first. And from here, it brings us the head. If you snap the head down in a resting position, you don't want to go below the armpit because this gives him access to your back. Yeah? So what you want to do essentially is get the head inside your chest and keep your elbow tucked inside. So keep the elbow against his ear inside. Don't flare out because he will go under and he can uh, shoot out. Of course, keep your, um, your legs in position and here take control over his arm. So now, um, what I do, I circle towards the arm I control uh, to prevent him from grabbing anything. If I circle this way, he can easily grab up a single and we're in trouble again, which is a shame because we have a good position, so we should go up this side. If he tries to attack with this arm, you have control here on the outside. Now, for a snap down, what I like to do is grab a chin strap position, so just put your, your fingers underneath his chin like so, here, and from here, I'm going to circle and snap his head down like this. And from here, we have multiple ways to attack. One of the easiest ways is now to go over and get into uh, basically a front lock turtle position. And so from here, we have plenty of attacks. And we'll talk a little bit about control from there. Okay? So, from here, we snap that down. Keep the elbow inside, block the arm. So if he tries to grab your leg here, you block. Circle, pull down. And from here, especially when he goes on the knees, you can go into a front head lock position. So, that's one. Now, a lot of times what you will encounter when you snap people down like this, is that people will post their legs up. So you want to keep their legs up and the head comes down. In positions like this, now we want to ground them. Uh, we have a uh, different ways to do this. One uh, of the ways to do this is to go towards the back, and then we switch our grip from the hand here, make sure the weight is on the hands. So when I switch my grip, you cannot get this hand from the mat. So if I don't have enough pressure, now you, can, you can use this hand as the build up and start grabbing my legs, which would be a shame. So, keep them on the floor, go tightly, go towards the back. Here, you can just put your foot on his foot, boom, and wrestle him down. Now again, different options here. And now he's giving me a whole myriad of space to go into back attacks. Now, so, snap down, boom, circle from here. He goes up, switch towards the back, boom, we take him down. All right, next, another way to approach this is when we snap him down and he tries to go up, what you can do is you can grab an additional leg. And this is a really nice position again. Make sure that his weight is on his hands. From here we circle towards the leg. I can either connect my hands or just grab the leg itself. And now, importantly, I'm not going to lift. What I'm going to do, I'm going to circle until the weight here becomes light itself. Uh, so from here, and there you can, uh, you can start lifting the leg. Okay, so from here, you snap down, boom, you grab the leg, you can grab the head. Now basically what I want to do is I want to force him to roll forward and here we have a nice cradle position. Okay, all right, we'll do one more where he stays standing. So sometimes it's difficult to snap somebody all the way to the floor. Uh, so he, he, uh, each time he fights his hands back up, maybe he's trying to grab you somewhere, maybe he has this hand on you somewhere, has, so it's a little bit difficult to snap him all the way down. In this case, I'm going to weave the hand through and go towards the leg here, in the other side. Now again, I'm going to circle, and this hand serves as a block for the leg. I have my hamstring on this side, I'm just going to circle right there and take him down. Yeah? So four ways to uh, take your opponent down from snap down position.